heading upstairs now. Gonna do some editing of some of Bruce's videos that he sent over to me. So go ahead and do that now. Okay guys, uh, welcome to the vlog for today. I am scrambling to do my Monday stuff so I can get to playing, uh, which I should uh, be able to do a little bit today. And then by tomorrow, we'll be able to include some of that playing in the vlog. So let's talk about the big idea. I told you I'd get into this a little bit. I'm gonna play a little game with myself because it's not just about being able to play well. I know I can play well. The question is, can I play well when it matters? And the answer is, you can only play well when it matters if you have tons of experience playing well when it matters. And how do you get that experience? Well, there's a variety of different ways. Most people, when they're in, let's say, um, a community where you can compete all the time, and, and think big picture, don't just think about bagpiping here. Like, if you're a basketball player, right? If you could play a pickup game every single day for the next 365 days, you're gonna be able to shoot a good jump shot under pressure after that because you've gotten all that experience. How do you do that with piping? Well, I'm going to show you and explain today the game that I like to play and it's what I try to get my students to play as well. Uh, and I call it the recording game. You can call it whatever you want. Basically what you do is when you're practicing, you know, go ahead, practice, have fun. At the end you pick one piece of music and you record it. But there's two very important rules. Rule number one is you only get one chance to record it. There are no redos, just like in real life. Okay, just like in basketball, you can't shoot it, miss it, and then ask all the guys for an, a, a redo because you missed it, right? In piping, you can't go up in front of a judge, mess it up, not play your best, and ask for a redo. In a milder way, right, we, we get no redos in real life. We should get give ourselves no redos in practice. So rule number one, one take on the recording. Rule number two is, you have to immediately send that recording to be judged, just like real life. So, obviously I'm going to include my recording in uh, my vlog, which will be a huge pressure because obviously I want to play well for the people who watch me. Um, I'll also send it off to my mentors every time I create a recording. And that's going to simulate that sort of pressure that I need to get used to in order to be able to actually play my best under pressure in the competition. So I have been working a little bit today, just a little bit, not a lot, on getting my bagpipe acclimatized again um, now that it's time to get going. And so I've been kind of getting things going down here in the basement, it's nice and cool down here. And what do I mean by acclimatization? What I mean is we have to give our bagpipes time to settle in. If we make too many changes right away, we're gonna regret it, especially like me, if we haven't been playing a lot lately. So that's what's going on over here. Here's my super messy bagpipe bench. And as you can see, my pipes, I played them for a while and I left them put together for quite a while. And uh, I don't have a good microphone on this uh, camera right now, so I don't wanna blast your ears off, but uh, I've been working on getting that going. So, I just moved some tape down on my high G, but it's only because I'm confident that the bagpipe has acclimatized a little bit. <laughs> 